In this video on Logix Automation, we're going to take a look at creating a group to enable us to write the same automation to all tracks of that group. You might think, well, gee, I've got a temporary group right here. Can't I just write automation that goes to all of them? And in fact, you can see it doesn't. So let's go ahead and do a couple of undos, and I'm going to get into the mixer, letter X for that. Select all these down here, go up to my group settings window, and let's go ahead and create a group. As soon as I create the group, I get my group settings window up here and let's open up our settings resize this a little bit and hit letter x to close the mixer let me go ahead and double click and add the name at this point in time get out of that and let me cruise down to automation mode uncheck that and notice we have volume mute pan and solo we also have all the sins down below all this is automatable we'll just do the volume for this demonstration now I have automation mode unchecked. I'm clicking in the background here to make sure just one track is selected. And let me show you the difference. If I do touch, only one track updates. If I turn the automation off, only one track is selected. If I hit display off, only one track is affected. If I enable automation mode, and I can go over here and change my automation mode from read to touch, everything updates. It doesn't matter what track you work on. I can turn the power button off and all tracks respond accordingly. But what I can't change is my automation parameter menu. You can see I go from display off back to volume, and it only affects a single track. Now I do have volume checked over here, so I can start writing volume automation and just create some basic curve. And if we listen, let me go ahead and hit playback. You can see all of them follow along quite nicely, and we could do whatever we want for a curve. And we can actually use our automation curve tool to create curves and it affects them all. But interestingly, at least in Logic 10.3.1, if I want to delete the automation curve by clicking on it with the curve tool, it only affects the track I work on. And again, we can automate mute, pan, solo, and all our sins in the same manner as well. That's all I have for you in this tutorial. As always, thanks for watching. Hope this provides a tip or trick or two, and catch you on the next one.